hey there how are you doing this is kali from tech fans here so in this video uh, we will see how to install the uh, uh, twrp custom recovery on our uh, redmi note 10 pro or note 10 pro max uh, suite or suite in india so uh, we already have unlocked the device so now it's time to install the twrp and we'll see how to do that uh, in a second so first i will go to uh, google and type uh, twrp because uh, this one is a little bit old device we already have official twrp for uh, this device so i can directly head over to the twrp site and from there i can just go to the um, xiaomi so inside that we have the um, redmi series so now ours is redmi note 10 pro uh, suite so i will just select that and then we have uh, the device tree and files even you want if you want you can uh, uh, create your own um, device tree uh, sorry you can create your own twrp from the device tree and files and here we have the uh, option to unlock the device and we have these uh, twrp this one and we are we will use the american uh, version here also we have the option so first i will just download the america's one so i'll just go with latest one which is sixth one july i believe now only the unofficial builds are happening so yeah i will just go ahead and uh, go to my this one and let me note 10 pro I'll just create a new folder uh, TWRP inside that I'll just save it so now I will go back here and back again uh, here I have the uh, process to do this one and in my device I will just go inside it and I will just enable the developer option so for that I'll go to the uh, settings and storage um, not storage it is um, believe uh, about phone and then the uh, android version or mi version i need to select it so now i am a developer and i can now go to the additional settings and the developer option from here i will just uh, it's already unlocked uh, so status is unlocked and now i will go directly to usb debugging and enable it so it takes some time so once the uh, seconds is finished we can just uh, start uh, installing it so okay so now we have enabled this one i already connected uh, this to my usb cable so i will just connect it and it is charging so now uh, okay now uh, in my pc uh, here okay no data transfer okay now in my pc i will open the adb uh, fastboot tool uh, which is in this side i um, redmi note 10 pro i will leave all the link in the description which you can uh, go through and do the process so currently i have the tool in my um, redmi this one so not redmi note 10 uh, it is in Zenfone Light L1 tools. Here I have the ADB tool. Here you need to click this uh, comment here, which will open the uh, terminal. So now I can type ADB devices, which will here the pop up will come. Uh, we just need to allow this computer. So now it is allowed. I will just again, you can see uh, the devices now, uh, devices now uh, detector. So now I need to do ADB uh, reboot. I think it is a bootloader we need to do it or else we have the process already. So ADB reboot bootloader. So that I will just uh, hit enter. So so now you can see that the device is in uh, fast boot mode. Uh, for that now I will just now uh, fastboot flash uh, recovery and then uh, here i'll just right click and the recovery is uh, in different flow folder i'll go to my again this android this one and let me note 10 pro twrp here i have it so you can just uh, uh, drag and drop this one like as i am doing right now 
so once it is drag and dropped uh, you can hit enter so now uh, it has flashed the twrp in my phone uh, now uh, fast boot reboot so which i can easily do uh, fast boot uh, devices so fast boot devices also it is there if you don't know if you are uh, if you if you don't know whether uh, how to if it is if your device is not detecting or something uh, you can watch the video in the card which appears right now there i have explained how to uh, fix this uh, driver related issues and other stuff so yeah fast boot this one and fast boot uh, reboot now it should uh, reboot to um where now it should reboot to the uh, system uh, we should have uh, done it differently okay so now it will boot to the system as they mentioned here and then i need to hold the key and combo to boot to twrp uh, once twrp booted will patch the stock rom to prevent the stock rom replacing twrp if you don't follow this step you will be you will have to repeat the step repeat the installation so now uh, if i reboot also uh, it it won't be having this um, uh, i'll just turn the device off or else i can use adb command adb uh, adb reboot recovery okay now it is in mia recovery so uh, what i have to do is i just reboot again and i'll just uh, uh, boot into fast boot okay and from here i will just uh, install this one once uh, uh, it is in when it is rebooting i have to hold this one i think before it uh, tries to uh, do the reboot so now i have installed the twrp again and now i need to do the fast boot reboot so for that i will just go uh, my previous commands uh, here fast boot reboot so now i will hold the volume up and power okay so now we have successfully got into twrp so i don't think whether we also have to the storage is encrypted so far to unencrypt you need to format the data so that uh, you are may already know it so um, install twrp app and i have to so what i will do is i'll go here and format the data and i also need to i want to uh, decrypt this one so um, so this one supports a a13 uh, decryption and so instead of twrp let me try uh, this one uh, so uh, uh, so now uh, i will go here and download this one because uh, this orange fox recovery has this uh, um, uh, decryption uh, it seems so here i already did uh, formatted my data so now what i do is i will just uh, uh, disable mtp or something and the storage should uh, show in my device so here i will just uh, um, i will just uh, i have both these things i will just copy and then i will go to this one and the folder or else i'll just disconnect and connect okay so storage is not visible maybe i can try i can try side load or i'll just reboot to the recovery so storage is visible now uh, so 
I now can go to here but here it is not visible so how I can do it well I can just go to um, uh, advance and uh, here I will do ADB side load and I will enable it so now uh, here I have this uh, Android uh, this one and Redmi Note 10 Pro TWRP so here I have that uh, so uh, I need to use ADB uh, devices so here you can see the device is connected ADB side load and then I will just drag and drop this orange fox recovery and enter and so now it has uh, successfully installed in the phone so this process if you are new to this uh, things this process may look a little bit uh, complicated or something watch the video a little bit slow so that you will get an idea what and all things i am doing. so yeah so now the storage and all visible uh, storage uh, so what i do is i'll just reboot to the system and then we'll check whether the storage is visible or not I will make sure to link this uh, orange fox recovery in the description of this video. It will ask for uh, FRP so which uh, I am not going to do it now. So now the device is booted to uh, this one so what I am going to do is I am just going to turn it off and from here I am just going to use uh, volume up and uh, this one power button which will eventually boot to orange fox recovery yeah so we are in orange fox recovery now and if it is showing the storage that's where the video ends now so as you can see uh, the storage is still there and uh, yeah that's uh, pretty much about this uh, video so this is how you have to install the TWRP in this one. Already this video got a little bigger now. So I will uh, show you how to install, how to root this device in the next video. So yeah, thank you for watching. Quote Moto.